I just want to state for the record that I, I confidently predicted my colleagues would be within a half an hour late rather than an hour late of the hearing. Um, but good afternoon, everyone. I'm City Councilmember Richie Torres, acting as chair of the Committee on Housing and Buildings today. Since Councilmember Williams couldn't join us, he was sadly the victim of a coup d'etat. We're here to hold a vote on three bills. Proposed intro number 1241A, sponsored by Councilmember Espinal, would require diaper changing stations in assembly and mercantile occupancies for both male and female occupants. Proposed intro number 1678B, sponsored by Councilmember Ku, would expand the definition of harassment to include threats based on a person's actual or perceived status in a protected class, including threats to report immigrant tenants to ICE. The bill also adds to the definition of harassment request for identifying documentation that would disclose a person's immigration status when the person has already provided the owner with a current form of personal identification. The final bill we will be voting on, proposed intro number 1764A, in relation to J-51 benefit eligibility, would increase the assessed value limitation for eligibility of J-51 improvements to 32,000 per dwelling unit. And I believe that's Councilmember Grudenchik? Okay, it's not, I'm not. Okay. I'd like to thank Councilmember Williams' staff for the work they did to assemble this hearing, including Mike Tomey, his legislative director, Megan Chin, counsel to the committee, Jose Condi, policy analyst to the committee, and Sarah Gastelum, the committee's finance analyst, as well as my staff, including Raymond Rodriguez and Daniel Wagner. With that, I would like to ask the clerk to please call the roll. William Martin, committee clerk, roll call vote committee on housing and buildings. All items are coupled. Councilmember Torres. I vote aye. Rodriguez. Aye. Cornegie. Aye. Espinal. I vote aye. Rosenthal. I vote aye on all. Gordenchik. Mr. Chairman, Mr. <laughs> Acting Chairman, permission to explain my vote. Permission granted. Thank you, Mr. Chair. I just want to uh, thank uh, the committee staff here. I'd like to thank uh, Chair Williams. My counsel, Steve Beher, my chief of staff, um, and Assemblyman Ed Braunstein, State Senator Tony Avella, who shepherded this legislation, which will provide uh, relief uh, for middle income co ops in uh, every borough of the city of New York. At one time, the exemption for J51 was 40,000 uh, per unit. It got dropped to 30. This will provide modest relief and also includes a COLA clause, uh, which will eventually get the eligibility back to $35,000. So I thank you all for voting yes, as you have done, and I proudly vote aye on all. Salamanca. Aye on all. A vote of seven in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. And we will keep it open to allow the rest of my punctual colleagues to vote. And do not interpret my chairmanship as a glimpse of the future. So. Ten, oh, I mean, I have to. Any, uh, I have an interview at three thirty. Okay. What time is it? Let's wait. Twenty minutes. Wait. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, oh, no.